Come and join the madness. How's life, love? Well, where are you with the housing situation? What are the council saying? Not a lot. They're not keeping up date, they haven't gone anywhere yet. Yeah, I promise you, you'll not be homeless. Even if we've got the, like, I've got to sit here with you here, we'll put some <laughs> bloody blankets so there. Bad, like, I, I promise you, darling, you'll not be homeless. I've had the school on the phone because of behaviour and it's stressing me because I've not Well, of course, the bins are going to be affected by it. Exactly. Kids are affected by but these the things. Blaming me for it, saying what's happening at home. Darling, they this... already know what's happening at home. They already know. Do you want me to ring the school? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I've got a meeting. Well, I've got a sort of meeting and I'm just getting bullied anyway. Oh, baby, that's... Oh. I know. You're carrying so much. Tell me what I can do to help. I don't know. At least you don't even know what to do with stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you lean on me, darling. Boy, she only has herself to blame. Because obviously she must be with a low quality man because she is a low quality woman. She hasn't put in the work to make herself a high quality woman so she can attract a high quality man. That's why she's living a low quality life. So she only has herself to blame in here. This is the life she built. Or didn't build, if you get what I'm saying. She only has herself to blame. But again, people don't know how to take accountability. And people don't understand that their situation is their fault. Whether it's good or bad, it is because of decisions that they made. So, the cycle will continue. That same sort of mentality, like, oh, it's not my fault. It's the government's fault. It's down to the government to provide. It ain't got nothing to do with it. Listen, stop relying on the fucking government to bail you out your situation. Whatever's going on in the outside world with the government and that, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing what I'm doing, innit? Yeah, I'm not interested in the government and that. They cannot determine whether I'm going to be successful or unsuccessful. That's down to me, blood. Let's make a plan, right? First thing is, you are not going to be homeless. Right, so I just need to expand on this clip. I'm basically doing a reaction video to a reaction video. Throughout my whole life, 30 years old right now. Throughout my whole life, I've always heard women, particularly black women, but women of all races and that, especially women in the UK, have always complained, whether I've heard it directly or indirectly, like on the net or, you know, overheard a conversation between a couple of gal or, you know, a girl's telling me about her brethren's man or whatever. Throughout my whole life, I've always heard and I will continue to hear that, oh, men ain't shit, men are dogs, they're useless, they're waste, man, and that. And let me just get one thing clear right now, ladies, innit? Men are always going to go and explore the block. Men are always going to, you know, as they call it on the internet now, exercise options and that. You're just going to have to get over it. Men are hardwired to spread their seed far and wide. It is what it is, innit? Yeah? It's not an excuse for man to breed up six different gal and all them things there. I'm not getting it. Don't get it twisted in it. But men, for the most part, we can have our main girl and we will still want to entertain other girls on the side, unfortunately. It's just the way we're hardwired. We could have a fucking nine out of ten. But if some sixes and sevens are, are you get me, throwing us, we're going to take it. We're not going to leave our main girl. We're not stupid. A man could be heavily invested in his main chick his, his missus he'd be married have four kids with her never ever want to leave her ever but you know what if something comes his way yeah lash and dash so get them this i don't even i don't even call don't even call it cheating but this oh you know men are shit because you know they all want to entertain other girls in yeah forget about that as long as a man's not spending a lot of money on it obviously because man let me just break down one thing as well on it yeah so, certain girls would be like, ah, oh, you know, if my man's spending money on another girl, yeah, that's a big violation. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, a man might have to take out a girl to, to get to get the lay, if you get what I'm trying to say, innit? Yeah, but if we could, if we didn't need to take out our missus and that, why the fuck would we take out another girl? Um, if we didn't need to take out that other thing, if we could just go straight to a yard, man would not be paying for no dates or nothing like that. So this notion of, oh, men are shit, they're cheaters, they're all dogs and that, but you forget that, yeah? If you don't want a man that can get other girls in here, go find yourself a good, 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 good Christian boy 
or an eye Jehovah's Witness man. For the most part, you get a guy that's somewhat averagely looking and doing sort of okay for himself, more than likely he can get other girls on that. Just the way it is, isn't it, yeah? Men are hardwired to pursue other women, in it, yeah? Whether we've got a main chick or not, we'll pursue, we're, we're hardwired to, to spread our seed far and wide. Don't get it twisted. It's not an excuse for the man to say, yeah, well, cool, I've got six baby mums and that. Nah, fam. But all of this, ah, oh, men are shit and that because they cheat and that. Forget about that. But the girl I'm watching this right now, if you keep finding you yourself and your brethren and that, if you find yourself alongside your brethren and your mom and your auntie, all the females around you complaining about men are shit, they're low quality and that, maybe you have to look to yourself, you know. Yeah, there's no smoke without fire. If you're a girl watching this right now and all the men that you date seem to be low quality and that, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Ask yourself, why can you not attract high quality men? Maybe something like, I don't, yell them like Meghan Markle and you get me, all these chicks that are up there and like, they don't complain about low quality men. Yeah, they're men. I'm not saying Meghan Markle, but I'm just throwing names out there, innit? Yeah, their men might cheat and you get me, quote unquote, cheat and that. But they're not complaining that their men are low quality. Look at your last few exes and that. Are they upstanding members of the community? Are they guys that you really put high up there on a the totem pole? Are they doing well for themselves? If the answer, if the answer is no, if you attract men that just work shit jobs, come home and play video games and that, if that's all you can attain, that's all you can attract, you might have to look to yourself, you know. Because I'm telling you, there's plenty of girls on the face of this earth that don't deal with low class, trashy men, you know. Ain't no girls, there ain't too many girls who are doctors and lawyers and that complaining that the men that they date are low quality. They might moan and say, oh, he cheated and that, but forget about that. I'm talking about quality wise, forget about his antics and that. As long as they're not beating you up, obviously. Isn't it? But forget about his antics. Him as a person, is he low quality or is he high quality? If the man that you're dealing with all the time, you look back for your roster, your resume of exes and that. If they're all low lives, man that just bun weed, ain't got no ambition and that. Well, you have to look to yourself, blood. The girl I'm on the net, and like I said, girl I know me in, the, in, 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 um, in real life and that. They're talking about, ah, oh, he's a waste of space and that. Get me, blood, you are in control of who breathes you up. I think girl I'm on a... Uh, start campaigning and that to make men not be waste men no more. No, it's a woman's job to filter out the waste men. Waste men are always going to exist, blood. If a woman gets breed up by a waste man, it's her fault. Obviously, there's going to be one or two, there's going to be a 1% of man out there that are like very deceptive and that. Let's say, for example, the, um, what do you call it? That Tinder swindler guy in it that can pull the wool over women's eyes in it. Most men are not at that level. And even him, he didn't he, he didn't come across as a, a low quality man. You know a man that's just a waste man and shit like that. Like low quality and that. It? But there's gonna be the one percent of man out there that's like the Tinder swindler where they they are so they're so sharp up here in it that they can pull the wool over a woman's eyes like that in it. But for the most part, women, you're not you're not recognizing the waste man in it, yeah. Like I said, there are a small portion of men that can pull the wool over women's eyes and that, yeah. But for the most part, you're picking the wrong fucking men. You're picking the wrong men. It's a woman's duty, it's a woman's job to filter out the waste men from the good guys. Waste men are always going to exist. You have to filter them out, blood. So all of this, ah, oh, men are shit and that. Unfortunately, maybe you might be the one that's shit. Have you done the work to make yourself a high quality woman so therefore you can attract a high quality man? If all you attract is trash, unfortunately you might be trash. The girls them that I've dealt with in the past and that none of them have been like real like because obviously when I say dealt with, I don't mean in a relationship with it yet, but like I never I mean maybe there might be like one trash girl in it yet, but for the most part, none of them are so none of them are trash. They're decent girl. Because me, I'm a decent quality man. So therefore, I can get decent quality girl. 
I think some girls, they think a, a good quality man is just a man that's just big and strong. Wow, congratulations. See, that's how you know, yeah, like, it's a, it's like, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe like curse of the working class girl or something like that, but only working class girls care about a man just being good looking or tall. You think girls who are doctors and lawyers or from some aristocratic, aristocratic family or whatever, or their dad's a fucking sultan or one of them Russian oligarchs or whatever, people that come from wealth, do you think, yeah, you just being tall or good looking is good enough? No, motherfucker, you need to be a high quality man. You need to tick boxes in all different areas and categories and that. But girl, I'm watching this right now. If your baby dad or baby dads, plural, three, four, if they're waste men, I'm sliding it down this chair. If they're waste men, it's your fault. It is your duty to filter out the waste men from the high quality men. Waste men are always going to exist. There's always going to be men that do dumb, get me play video games all day long, little to no ambition and that. Don't allow them to sleep with you. Like I said, there's a couple of men out here who are waste men that can pull the wool over women's eyes and that. But for the most part, most men are not that smart. Most men are not the fucking Tinder swindler. They're most men are not savvy. I've spoken to people in the past, in it, and like we've speak spoken like hypothetically, and that, like, oh, like, get me if we have a sister or if we have a daughter. Like, I've heard man say to me, "Yeah, man, if I had a sister, or when my sister gets older, and that, when I meet the boyfriend, say for example, me, I even put myself in this position. Like, boom, my little sister's eleven years old, and let's say for example, when she's eighteen, nineteen, and she has a boyfriend, and that, when I meet him." I'm not gonna ask him all of these grilling questions. So what do you do for work? What do you do? Where'd you go to uni? Uh, what do you do in your spare time? How many children have you saved for a burning building? I'm not gonna ask him them questions to find out if the man is a fucking idiot. No, I don't I don't need to ask people specific questions to, to find out whether they're a fucking idiot. I always have a general conversation with them. And wherever the conversation goes, wherever it goes, but I'll know if this man is a fucking idiot. I meet uh, people on the jobs and that. I know. They know I'm not a fucking idiot. I know. They know. I mean, I'm not going to say something special on it yet. But they know I'm not some fucking idiot that they will just randomly meet in the street and that. Because they have a conversation with man. They can tell. You can tell by the, a lot about a person. The way they speak. The way they come across and that. How sharp they are. So, I man, I said, oh, yeah, man, I'll give him a grilling. I'm not giving him a... No grilling. I'm not going to... I might, you get me, I might have to back off my top and say, come, let's fight, innit, yeah, just to see if you're strong enough to protect my local sister and that. But other than that, nah. I'm not, I, I don't need to grill a man. At the end of the day, if he's a fool, it's gonna be, it's gonna, he's going to show himself. And if he's an intelligent man that's going places and that, I will see it. Prime example. There's guys that you've met before, gal and women, uh, man and gal watching this. There's people that you've met before and you could just tell, by the way, just the way this person carries himself, they're a fucking road man. He hasn't told you that he's a criminal. He hasn't told you that he's been jailed. He hasn't told you that he's shots, that he burns weed and that, that he's in a gang. But you could just tell by the aura of the vibe, blood. And some people, you, a lot of people, you meet them, you're like, yeah, that, that pussy's soft, man. He hasn't told you that he's soft. He hasn't told you that he's a pussy. He might be the biggest gangster on the planet, but for the most part, that's the impression that you get off him. And usually your impressions are right. The judgment is right. But yeah, if, I had a, if my little sister comes, or I meet my little sister's boyfriend and that when she's 19 and whatever, isn't it? I'm not going to need to ask him no grilling questions or nothing like that. I'll just have a conversation with him. I don't know if he's a fucking idiot or not. But get him. If you're, if you're moaning and complaining about low quality men, I'm slipping down this fucking chair, blood. If you're moaning and complaining about low quality men, unfortunately, you might be a low quality woman. That's it, man. That's the realest truth. Because ask yourself this question. Women that are high quality, you know, whoever you, you want to name, I don't know. I don't fucking know, blood. Princess Diane, I don't know. Think of, think of some high quality women that you know in the limelight. Do you think they complain about their boyfriends being waste men? Burning weed, they don't want to go to work, they work shit jobs and that, they have little to no ambition. Do you think those high quality women moan about 
those symptoms from their boyfriends, husbands, whatever, significant other? The answer is no. So there you go. There you go. There's certain girls, they'll meet me and they know. I cannot attract a man like that because they know they're low quality. If you're a girl watching this right now and you bun weed, you have excluded yourself from me. That's it. Anyway, stay wise. Don't know.